Hey everybody, this is a quick introduction to just using a breadboard and simulating it. So you need to be in Tinkercad and we need to be in circuits and we're going to create a new circuit. And as this, did I click on, there it goes. Um, we're gonna need an LED, we're gonna need some switches, we're going to need a power supply, and of course we're gonna need wire, wires, sorry. Okay, um, I'm gonna scroll down and I'm gonna grab a small breadboard and drag this over here. There we go, mine's slightly delayed. Um, and then I'm going to get a switch. Use this blue one right here. Okay, now this is the first thing I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna plug this in to A, I'm gonna plug it into, it's gonna go into E, so you can kind of see as, as you kind of hover over this, it turns green. So when I leave my mouse there, we can see it. So that is all connected going up and down there. And then as power goes through this switch, we would turn it on, then it would come out this way. Now, this is up, up here is gonna be like our output and down here is gonna be our input. So um, one thing we're going to need here is a resistor. Gosh darn it, didn't mean to do that, sorry. Okay, so if I just leave that, resistors are right on top. So I'm gonna plug this into the positive. If I can get it, there we go, positive. It's gonna go in the positive and it's gonna go in A. And we want that one um, to be a 330 ohm resistor. And don't forget to change that. Okay. Um, we're going to grab an LED and we're going to put it like, I don't know, I'm going to put it at the very bottom, I guess. Um, I might bring it up one. Okay. I'm going to need another resistor and I'm going to plug this in to the negative side and it is going to go into row 29. So you can see 28, you can see 30, it's, it's covering 29. Um, I'm going to change that resistor to 220 ohms, I lost my mouse, there it is. 220, and make that ohms. Now I need to grab a power supply. There we go. I'm gonna bring this up top, all right. Okay, so power works like this. Power is gonna go into here and I'm gonna color code it, make my life a little bit easier. And I'm gonna put this one in negative and black. Okay, so now this entire row is negative. This entire row is positive and I wanna jump it down here. And I want to jump this down here. And I forgot to color code the one. So let's change that to black. And let's change this one to red. All right. And now, once I press start simulation, nothing's going to happen. But we can see we're powering 5 volts here. That's good. So I need to bring this up here and over and I'm gonna plug this last into 30. I'll just leave that green. All right, as I press it, you can see we've got some power. The light isn't on, but when I turn the light on, does it work? There we go, so I just clicked it. Now we can see we've got some power, we've got some voltage, and we've got some current happening. Let's say I, I turn this up. Oh, we've got a little warning here and it says, uh-oh, be careful. Let's see what happens when I crank it up. Oh, it's getting, we're, we're really putting some current through there. What happens if I go too far? Uh-oh, how many, I can't go any farther. Let's see if I can type it in. I can't go any farther, all right, so. Um, you can pop the LED, so you want to be careful with that. Uh, this is a good spot to just kind of take a time out and just type in switches for this. So as long as you've got a light working and your switch is working, you've done a good job. Thanks for following along.